Oh yeah. Welcome back. It's Thirsty Thursday. Donovan here with Beyond the Brew. And I can't wait to tell you guys all 74 reasons why I love growlers so much. Don't think there's 74 reasons. I think there's eight reasons. Should have made it 13 reasons. I think that has a good ring. Oh, that's a show. That's why. The growler is such a lovely, easy, and inexpensive way to transport your beer from the brewery back to your home. Let's get into a few reasons. Reason number one, when you're using a growler constantly, you're transporting beer back and forth in the same glass vessel or stainless steel or whatever kind of growler you may have. And that is just less cans and less bottles on the environment. Good for the earth. Reason number two, if a brewery that you're going to check out has a beer that is just so unbelievably delicious, but they only made a small batch and that is not gonna be in cans, how on earth are you gonna get it to your home? How are you gonna drink it more aside from going back to the brewery? Well, you guessed it, there's a growler. That's exactly why I have this growler of Citizen in front of me right now because they had an electric fruit punch New England IPA that is 7% that was absolutely mind blowing and I was able to try that this weekend while also checking out some of their weekend brunch and oh my God, brunch was so good. Oh man, eggs Benedict with smoked brisket. Oh my God. This one here, the Electric Fruit Punch New England IPA, guava, pineapple, and strawberry in here. Absolutely delicious, and I am so glad that I was able to get a growler of it and bring it home and to continue drinking it. Reason number three. Most breweries have a specific day of the week where it's their growler fill day. So rather than going to the brewery and spending, you know, anywhere from $13 to $20 to fill up your growler, depending on what type of beer it may be, they have a growler fill day where you can get almost every single type of beer for like $10. This growler right here is 64 ounces. 64 divided by four is 16. That is, that is four pints of beer that you are getting for $10. Delicious, fresh beer right from the keg. <sighs> Reason number four. The growlers, I mean, at least for me, they start to become a collection. I have, I think I have around 40 growlers right now and they are spread out throughout the entire condo. I mean, most of them are this dark glass. There's a few unique ones, I guess. This village one is, uh, is quite nice. It's very well, red, as you can see. Maybe it's more pink or like a hot pink. I don't know. What do you guys think? But basically, you have all these growlers spread out throughout your home and it kind of becomes a little bit of a conversation piece. If you have someone coming over that you don't really know that well, it's a friend through a friend or whatever, it's just a great way to, to have a conversation and immediately start talking about everything that we want to talk about, which is craft beer. Reason number five, it's very simple and it's very short. It's a great way to support the brewery. Enough said. Reason number six, it keeps your beer fresh for around 10 days. As soon as you crack open the growler, you're gonna have to drink it right away. But if you fill it up at a brewery and, uh, and you intend on going away for a weekend or going camping or something like that, it should keep that beer fresh for around 10 days, which is pretty fantastic for that fresh of beer. <sighs> Reason number seven, I can totally fill up my growler with my kegerator. It's not the best way to fill up your growler. You should have a hose that goes and fills it up from the, from the bottom up, but it still works. So if I'm going to the park, having a couple park beers, or if I want to go out camping for the weekend, I can just take my keg beer at home, fill it up in this bad boy, and I got some beer. And now, I'm probably just gonna go and buy more cans of beer, but if I'm just going to the park down the street and I don't want to go to a liquor store, I can just bring this bad boy. I got four pints on me, that is more than enough for some park beers. You know what I'm talking about. If you have that many park beers, I'm definitely gonna go to the liquor store because I want to have more park beers. Finally, reason number eight, depending on the state that you're in when you purchase the growler, the memory of that beer and the memory of that brewery is gonna come to mind every single time you look at the glass growler. And if you do start to develop some form of collection like I have, you can walk through your home and, and it's just memory after memory after memory after memory. And they're all really good memories because they all involve craft beer and adventures and traveling. And oh, I just love it so much. Every time I look at this Tofino Brewing growler, I remember the road trip of driving out to Vancouver Island and uh, being able to check that brewery out and just, it was a rainy day. I think I had Taco Fino before. It was just one of the better days I've ever had. 
you know, Dog Island Brewery. I mean, this is probably, this is the closest brewery near my family's uh, camp spot in Northern Alberta. And every single time I go up there, I try and hit up Dog Island and grab, fill up the growler or grab a couple different uh, four packs to try them out. And that day that I went to Dog Island Brewing and then got to see like some of the most spectacular Northern Lights in my entire life, you know, that's, that's what I think of every time I see this growler. So, I mean, like I have, 40 growlers, pretty much 40 memories. I'm not gonna go through them all, but you get the gist. That's a huge reason why I love growlers. <sighs> That's a wrap on this Thirsty Thursday video. Thank you so much for watching me, Beyond the Brew, all things beer. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Video. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Cheers.